Match number three about to get started. Tyler Wright and Caroline Marks, you are on. 35 minutes scored on their top two. Winner goes on to the title match to take on Carissa Moore. Here is Tyler Wright getting things started. Aggressive little rip into the pocket. Feels out the flow. You can see just trying to find some energy there on the finish. Caroline could do that to Tyler. Here's Tyler's first wave, Rosie. Yeah, quick tail slide there. Beautiful, just show of the raw power that we've been seeing from a healthy Tyler. She likes to stand tall with good posture when she feels like she's really ripped a wave right there. She's just trying to create some energy around that performance. Caroline Marks setting up one of the best backhands on tour. There's the first whip. Nice quick little redirect in the pocket out in front of the open face. Caroline just attacking this little inside section, little two foot section that kept on giving and Marks puts it away. So nice seeing a match like this getting started immediately. Good just body language as she kicks out there. First whip looked like a nice connection, Richie. Yeah, I like that second turn from Caroline. Uh, she backed it up with a nice slash on the third turn as well and then did some good work all through all the way through to the inside and gets to the finish so a, uh, a series of, of maneuvers strung together with uh, a lot of flow and speed for Caroline and uh, you know one thing she does so well is squares up off the bottom on that backhand and that's a, a point of difference for the for the goofy footers uh, you know you saw Tyler open up with that uh, more of a, a, a more of a horizontal slide the board stayed a little flatter Caroline just getting a bit more angle on the surfboard at the moment for me Cool to see that squaring up off the bottom. Really something that Luke Egan's been working on with Caroline this year. Yeah, and it's so impactful. And I think those are the little improvements that she's been making as the tour rolls. As we see the waves out the back, remember this well hasn't peaked yet. Still seeing some great looking lowers rights. Tyler likes to look at this one. Backing up her 5-5. Aggressive forehand hook, smooth transition. Clean two-turn combination, Rosie. Yeah, I like it. Just extra emphasis on those turns and really surfing to what the wave allows. Yeah, I saw more power in this opening turn here from uh, from Tyler. You can see there, just gaffing it around. And then gets a beautiful closeout. It's a floater re-entry to finish things off here. But watch this first turn. Jams on the, on the tail pad there, just pushing the tail in the water through the face of the wave. Gets straight into the transition and does well to navigate that closeout. Can be a tricky thing to do. So, you know, when you were competing on tour, Rosie, she created her own event and Tyler won it at 14. Still a record as the youngest to ever win a CT. Throwing down a big forehand hook is Tyler Wright. Shoves it back into the pocket again. Jams it on the inside and keeps that momentum forward through the white water. Getting a board shaped by John Pizel. The downside is that it won't perhaps fit in the pocket and tighten the turn up as much, but it doesn't seem to be hampering uh, what Tyler's doing here. She's sort of offset it with, with the amount of speed and power that she's putting into the turn, maybe extending it more of a horizontal line, but there's power in it and there's speed, and, and that's, that's making up for it. Both these women, they, they have a very compact way of surfing. Uh, they stay nice and low, and they keep all that energy in the lower half of their body. Uh, but Tyler here just executing some fantastic wraps and uh, always coming back to that energy source. And uh, she's starting to build here. You can tell with each ride, she's feeling more and more confident. Enjoy her energy, Tyler Wright, known as one of the most powerful surfers in the world. A heavy back foot that she can change gears with roundhouses to using the lip line to shut it down. She still loves surfing. That's my favorite part about her legacy. It's like she's never going to put her board away. She's going to be going on trips. She's in, so inspired by the next generation. And she actually created a platform. Caroline Marks winding up one of the best backhand approaches on tour. Belts it off the lip with a fan to the sky. Whitewater on the face, but she'll, she'll jam the second turn. Third maneuver, it's a massive sweep in the closeout section. Great surfing for Caroline Marks. Beautiful display of backhand turns, and a goofy footer is going to be happy about that as Strider. It's next level. It's, I've never seen anything like it out here, and I love it. And I, I think uh, surfing is very healthy right now. Let me tell you, it's insane. Oh, you're healthy too, Waz, as we see your vision with all those fans off the top. Rosie, what would you see from the front angle? Wow, just a bigger wave. It just offered her the opportunity to get mm -hmm. vertical on those first two approaches. Even though there was white water on this face, she cuts it so well with that rail line and really finishes off strong. So I think this is going to be the best wave of the heat so far in my mind, just watching the critical crispness of those backhand maneuvers, the way she squared it off the bottom. But watch that board just chatter. 
there was a lot of texture to work with as she's moving through the face of that wave, Richie. Yeah, no, you, the, the, all the bump, courtesy of all that foam there and the way she was able to stay crisp and clean through the manoeuvres, uh, you know, that's just incredible, uh, the way she executed that three really strong manoeuvres. She was just trying different things to try to change her mind and focus on something else as we look at Tyler using a lot of that Highline wrap, beautiful extension on the car, and oh. she'll actually pop the fins out. Ends up losing the reverse attempt, but that board is certainly spring-loaded, Rich. And maybe an error, a nice carb. We'll see here, this opening wrap was beautiful. You can see there, she accelerated through it, and she's stepping it up on, on, on this one. Had a great pace to it, gets the grab rail, completely uh, disengages with the lip of the wave there, but just got a little bit caught behind there, and you can see the frustration. Spinning around quickly, the goofy foot from Florida has been living around here for a long time is Caroline Marks. Fades that backhand wrap into the pocket. Little top turn with authority there. Swooping off the bottom, more off the lip on the third effort. Corners that carve and shuts it down. Rapid fire backhand surfing from a surfer they call Caralupo. Watching this one, Rosie. Yeah, I think the question is always, is this wave going to better the 6.5? That first section looked kind of nice, but then it went just that little bit flat on this mid-section for Caroline. Beautiful surfing nonetheless. That third one was a nice hook, but you can tell there's a lot of slope as this wave tapers off in size, finishes it off super strong. Watching this replay, I'm kind of getting a feeling it could notch up the 6.5. But I think it was all about just the way the wave tapered off, Richie. Didn't really offer that high impact yeah. surfing we saw on the 833. No, I agree with you. I, I think it'll be super close to the score. Um, wh whenever you see someone kind of fading and always looking, going back into the power source and waiting instead of just being on the gas the whole time, the judges pick up on that. Uh, the opening the opening turn was really spicy and then uh, went a little sleepy on the second. But then again, like through this inside section, that was a beautiful turn there. Getting nice and tight, critical on the backhand, carves through this turn here, and then just gets a little drift to finish off. But, uh, I mean, the positive signs is both our women in this heat. They had four of them in 2023 as we look at live action with Tyler Wright chasing an 859 on this wave. Couple little slingshot wraps. Doesn't have a ton of height on this one. But that board has a lot of speed to it. She's covering some serious ground. Just gliding through sections. That ride. So let's see what happens here. This opening turn, beautiful cutback. Sets up the second one. And then uh, another wrapping turn, but fairly horizontal. Those three opening maneuvers, there wasn't too much distinguishing uh, the three of them. That was a nice gliding floater there and a great finish. So while that wave would have felt really good and fun to surf, when you're looking at it from a points point of view and, and what she was building on there, I think it's the, the score is going to stay, stay relatively conservative. Yeah, looking at the face of this wave too, there's those moments at lowers where the wave's a little bit fractured with the lumps. Like it can be a little bit of a wedge that gives you that chip shot into the big sections, but this one felt just a little bit more lateral. Just great surfing. It's always great to be standing by with Hogue Hospital as we look at the roll in Whitewater. Take off for Tyler Wright up and out. Her last wave is 6.53, so still chasing an 8.59 to take the lead. Match number three continues, 10.30 on the clock. How about this set coming through? It's Caroline Marks rolling in. The goofy foot, big bottom turn, nice clean carve. Whips it right off the bottom again, throwing some water off that rail. Winds up vertical and crushes it. Now anticipating a finish, backhand snap float, she stomps it. <laughs> There's everybody cheering on. Caroline representing Florida, but she's been adopted as part of the locals here. Yeah, just so impressive. If I'm hypercritical, she could have gone a little bit more vertical on that first crack. Second one, same thing. It kind of just pushed her down the line, but here's where the wave get inter it gets interesting and super fun to watch as she stabs it vertically off the top and then gets that kind of float off the last section. That's going in her top two. That was an amazing wave and one of the best of the heat so far. Yeah, she had a lot of space on this uh, right here to really open up. And one of the difficult things to do on your backhand is bring some variety, and that's what Caroline did on this one. Each turn was a little bit different. This third one in particular, it was uh, done in a really critical moment on the wave. Watch how steep it is here. 
Beautiful technique, gets nice and vertical, almost snaps under the lip there, spray just flying to the heavens. And uh, Caroline just uh, really finishing it off strong here. You can see her just sitting on that bottom turn, throws it up again onto the lip, drifts down under that turbulent whitewash, and what a score. She was almost smiling through that last hack on the inside. Caroline knows what a big score feels like. And that's been that X factor for Caroline on her true comeback to the world title race this year. Tyler choosing this way, a minute 20 on the clock. Lays down that cool rail hook. Hard off the bottom and losing it, knowing that she needed something big with that ride stopping up pretty early. Congratulations to Caroline. Commiserations to Tyler Wright, but uh, an incredible year for her. And, uh, you know, she did uh, represent Australia very, very well. So Tyler Wright will drop from two to number three in the world in 2020.